Okay, so today I have a special video for you guys. We're going to be going to the Alex Gary Movies experience and I can't wait because I wasn't even supposed to be here, but thanks to CC, I get to come here and enjoy the event. So I'll take you guys through. We're about to walk in right now. So cool. Thank you. So this is when you first walk in. Right here we have our posters that we have. We have the Beetlejuice poster right here. And this actually has Robin, our produce, executive producer. This is her little brother. And then when you go over this way, this is for our IT. And this it has her family and friends. The next one is our Nightmare on Elm Street, which actually has Max, our other executive producer. This is his grandma. And she's wearing the Freddy claw. Then over here is um, our Shining. This has their family and friends again. Yeah. Some pretty cool stuff. And then the last one is the Lost Boys. This one actually has a picture of Max at his brother's grave with the Chinese box of worms. And so everything is pretty much family friendly. She'll probably up here. <laughs> oh, come here. Yeah. From here. We made it. They finally meet. These were basically the posters we saw outside. So hello and welcome to The Shining is usually what I say when I'm in here. <laughs> so this is our Red Room Hedge. All you have to do is go all the way back here to get it in full frame, but you can't freaking get it in full frame. <laughs> Sway's enjoying, enjoying everything over there. Nope. <laughs> and then in here is our elevator scene where the blood is flowing. On our pieces of blood, we actually have the room number 237 written on them. And then we also have all work and no play written on our desk. cars pass by this, it goes everywhere on the ceiling, it goes on the walls, it's really cool. And then this is our bathroom area. It's a very small area, but still pretty cool. You can get on. Yeah, you can, you can get into the bathtub. Oh my god, we're in the shining tub. Now we're going into the second part of the shining. This is where we have our window, and there's actually steps on the side if you want to go over there. You could go up the steps and then look through the window. Oh. These steps. <laughs> yeah, and then you look through the window. <laughs> you can't close this up. Nope. <laughs> and then to your right, we have the shining door, the most iconic scene of Here's Johnny. <laughs> Look at that. Here we go into the carpet room. We have our sign of come play with us all the way up there as well as the doors with the ax in them. We also have a tricycle that you're more than welcome to get on. Right, on. It also has a bell. <laughs> it is stationary, it will not move. <laughs> I don't think you realize that you kind of miss the girls to your right over there. <laughs> we have the girls right here. Shockingly enough, 
They're actually not twins. They are two years of age difference. From the carpet room, we have to go through the wall. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. So go ahead and push through that wall if you'd like. Yes. Oh, wow. So now we are going to the tunnel. <laughs> this is to the it room. Oh crap, my heels are gonna... <gasps> I don't think I can make it. <laughs> pretty much Pennywise eating you. Oh, wow. So you just got eaten by Pennywise and then you were brought to his lair where he has everybody floating up above. And you can actually see that some of the little ones are actually floating up there, which is really cool. We have a do not open box. Sway, will you do the honor of opening the box? I need you to take take no, a chance. Come on. Come on. You gotta do it. It's our do not open box. That is the one box you need to open. <laughs> Come on. You gotta no, you gotta grab it by the by the little handle and pull. No. Come on! Don't be scared, it's actually worth it. Come on! No. Come on! Alright, 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 fine, fine, fine. Wait, so you slide it open? Yeah, slide it open. <laughs> There's just a little rat. These are little buddies. Yeah, all you gotta do is pull this. See, look at him. Look how cute. So this is our teddy bear who has a hole. You just have to stick your hand in him. Right. <laughs> so from the layer you can actually go inside of it and this is where you can see all the missing kid posters that we have up here. So you see Stan was missing, Beverly, Eddie was missing, we have George, Georgie, we got a bunch of missing kids over here. Oh, and then this is actually a really cool thing. This is actually the inside of Pennywise's mouth. So, so you're standing out there. Like yeah. if you go outside, I can see you from in here. <laughs> now, how did I get here? <laughs> These are all of our boats that we have. They all hang from the ceiling. But if you want to hear a fun fact about these boats, they are actually made out of hot dog cartons and snow cones. And they were just hot glued together because it would take forever to paper mache a bunch of boats. <laughs> And nothing's gonna happen, right? No, nothing will happen, but it's actually m more comfortable than you think it is. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, these are all our our little clown buddies in here. They're super creepy and gross, and we got a bunch of them. Oh, it is, yeah. Yeah, we got a bunch of creepy clowns in here. <laughs> our coffin <laughs> and then over here we have our Pennywise just to let you know 
that little yellow coat you can actually put on to be Georgie. Put the little raincoat on. Didn't you tell me a story with this hand? What else when you touch the hand? It's just a hand, honestly. We don't really have a story with him. You just can't touch the string. But you can always hold his hand. People have proposed to him before and all that fun stuff. <laughs> That's so cool. So over here is our fear wall. And this is where people get their penny for their fears. But a lot of the time we get like some really funny ones, but majority of the time they're actually like really serious. Then all you have to do is put it into our box. We got Sway over here putting down one of his fears. All right, when you are done, go ahead and put it in the box. Balloons. So right here is our Nightmare on Elm Street, or you can go to the restroom, which is down the hall. But this is actually the next area that you will go to. Our fears also travel over here as if Freddy clawed them all the way here. But we also have hopscotch. <laughs> so Nightmare on Elm Street, this is the first room that you go into. In here we have Freddy's throne. Now, Freddy never actually had a throne in any of the movies, but what the artist wanted to do with this was give it a concept of if he were to have one, this is most likely what it would look like. last room for the Nightmare on Elm Street. This is where we have our claw. So there's some really cool things in here. Even though it's very simple, what you can actually do is when you come over to the claw, you can grab onto it and then just push it down and move the fingers all you want pretty much. But it's still really cool and all the details that they put for the hand. <laughs> So this is my area now. Yeah, this is your Beetlejuice area. My Beetlejuice area. And now we are going into the Beetlejuice room. So in here we are now serving 9,998,383,750,000. Over here is our legs, where if you get inside, you could become the top half to her bottom half. We also have our awesome little recently deceased book. So we actually never had this book made for us. 
a little girl who was 10 years old came in and actually donated it to us because she said that she wanted us to have it. And then over here we have the lovely couple and our awesome little foam pit which you can get in. Only thing you have to do is take off your shoes. If you have any personal items, it's also best to keep off on this side because it could get lost and eaten forever in our pit of souls. <laughs> ah, he's taking off his shoes. He's gonna go. Here we have our shrunken head man. Right now he's headless, but when you go behind it, what you get is an awesome shrunken head look. It's really, really cool. He's just a little special. It's all good though. And then on this lovely little velvet red couch, we have our shark where you can stick your leg in his mouth and it looks like you are being eaten by him. So this is the next Beetlejuice room. And here we have the sandworm spray painted on our wall, as well as Dante's Inferno, which is actually really cool. We also have Beetlejuice standing right here with one of the sculptures piercing through his skin. And you can stand behind him and be his head, which is also really cool again. And we also have the bench right here. Over here we have the graveyard area where we have a cow. Her name is Betsy. We have the tree also as well. And over here we actually have the grave site for Beetlejuice. So you can actually get inside of the grave. You just can't walk on the grave site. But you can lay down, sit down, stand, all that fun stuff. And be underneath the sign that says here lies Beetlejuice. have the Lost Boys lair where you can just relax on the throne and just take in all the power which is really awesome. The one vampire movie where vampires are not sparkling. This was way before that. So this is the murder capital of the world. And then over here we have our awesome train tracks that you can actually hang from if you want. Over here we have a plank that you can stand on. We also have a nice little trash can that has fire so you can stay warm. <laughs> this is where our giant worm box is. You can actually sit down with the worms, no standing. And you can try and put the worms on you, but since they are bolted, you just have to be kind of careful because they could rip if you pull on them way too hard. But yeah, they feel really weird. Just to give you that fair warning, they feel extremely weird. It's our gift shop! This is the very end!
So we just got out of the I Like Scary Movie experience and I enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. If you're a horror fanatic, I definitely recommend going and checking it out. It's currently $40 right now, so go out and see it before it's too late. And they closed July 16, so be there before you miss out on it. And stay tuned for more of my videos. I will be vlogging at Midsummer Scream coming up soon in August. And so... That's going to be a lot of fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll catch you on the next video.